Hey, what's up guys? Got a huge news update for you. Lots to talk about. I had to mash up several videos into one, but just trying to be efficient here. Hope that's okay. Anyways, I wanted to cover some exclusive Apple leaks with you. We got a big news day to cover as well as iOS 12.3 and I wanted to water test the new AirPods. Are they any different inside? I, I'll be doing my first teardown actually of those on this channel, so I'm excited about that. Anyways, let's jump right in. So first thing I wanted to mention is we heard a little bit ago that Apple would be making its own version of Beats similarly styled to the AirPods that we have right now. And we have our first look at them thanks to a leak found in iOS 12.2. Developer Rambo always does his thing and he was able to find the latest glyphs showing the Power Beats Pro, that's what they're gonna be called, and we should be seeing these here relatively soon. They have their own exclusive charging case. They're basically Power Beats 3, but truly wireless now. Of course, they're more customizable than AirPods. It's a very exciting product actually. It's kind of a more pro version of AirPods, which are already really good. So these could have some potential. Supposedly we'll have the H1 chip in there as well. And this is a little suspect. So Jeremy Orwitz pointed this out. On the wireless charging cases, on the AirPods 2 packaging, everything is pointing to a 2018 uh, copyright. Basically all the badging everywhere is saying 2018. And when someone actually did a serial code check on their AirPods 2, they were able to find that they were produced in September of 2018. So this basically says Apple has had these for quite some time. They may have even wanted to release these with the new iPhone XS series, but seeing how well the regular AirPods were selling, there was really no reason to do that. And with all the weird leaks, everything being out of place, you know, it kind of makes sense. And this all ties in with Max Weinbach. He's saying AirPods 3, which will be released in 2020, are gonna be the ones having most of the big features. The ones we have right now aren't anything special at all, he says. And not only that, but he says AirPods could potentially come with USB-C in 2020, a separate case option could be had if you want lightning or USB-C, or it could be the exclusive. So that, that one's my speculation though. He's also saying that Apple is considering a move to USB-C across the line. So iPhones will finally be getting USB-C in 2020. And that perfectly lines up with the major redesign. We heard that the major redesign of the iPhone will be happening in 2020. And Max Weinbach's latest comments are saying, yes, that is true and will be happening. So very exciting times ahead. 2019, we'll see the triple lens camera, so still, something important this year, but the big major changes are happening 2020. Also an exclusive leak with Max Weinbach regarding HomePods. He's saying their respective iOS 13 update will actually focus on reducing latency. In fact, it might be such a good latency reduction that you could use these theoretically with a TV as a sound bar. And that's not something Apple will be promoting, but the latency could be reduced to a point where that could be possible. Also regarding original AirPod owners, this is very important. You have received an update for your AirPods 6.3 this jumped from 3.7.2, I believe, so quite a number jump, but a lot of people are reporting that the interference, the interference has gotten so much better. Previously, you'd walk through a room just like 15, 20 feet away from your iPhone, and you'd start receiving lag and cutoff. It looks like somehow Apple has figured out a way to keep that from happening as much. A lot of users are reporting less, less interference walking around rooms and obstacles, stuff like that. So very exciting change for even existing AirPod owners. Plus, you can upgrade to the wireless charging case. There's really no reason to go to AirPods 2 unless you don't have any already. Also, developer Rambo has found another goodie in iOS 12.3. So this actually pertains to how the card will be activated once you receive it. You'll tap it on the back of your device. It's gonna bring up this screen here and this animation will play. Very cool stuff. So we can expect this card around summer. Also wanted to mention the Huawei P30 Pro. There's a couple of great innovations here that I wanna see on future iPhones. So first off, and this claim is yet to be tested, but they have replaced the blue light filter in the camera with a yellow light filter. And they claim that this allows for 40% more light inputs and you'll be able to take a picture of the Galaxy that even the Galaxy can't take. I thought that was a little amusing, but will we get quality anywhere near that? I highly doubt it. I'm a skeptic at heart. We'll definitely see, but the Huawei P30 Pro is looking very cool from an innovative standpoint and with the new iPhone getting the triple lens camera with a three times optical zoom kind of already uh, some competition there going in the optical zoom wars and I love it this is what competition brings to the table everyone outdoing everyone and in the end we as consumers we benefit also Samsung doing some testing for their fold devices I love this Samsung is very committed to selling you a device that will not break hopefully within a couple weeks it's definitely new technology but Samsung is putting it through its paces so you don't have to in your daily life and that crease we've been seeing in in recent videos, 
I hope they've got that down. I hope that was just prototype models and the final version will not have it. Anyways, guys, that's the latest news. Wanted to show you 12.3 and after the stress test and teardown of AirPods 2. Okay, so let's take a look at iOS 12.3. This was a very large update, even coming from 12.2, 2.65 gigabytes, basically had to re-download the entire OS. Before updating, I had 50 gigabytes available after 49.74. So there are just a few changes inside. It isn't major, it's just focused around perfecting the Apple TV experience and the wallet application. There's a new TV application with a new TV icon. It looks really great. And inside, of course, is Apple's new TV application. So you'll be able to subscribe to all of those new services here. Watch Game of Thrones season four, hopefully here. Anyways, wallet application receives a couple upgrades as well. And Apple teased this feature at the event. Now a Reddit user is showing us this in action. Basically, you'll be able to track purchases made via the Apple Maps integrated into the wallet application. That's very cool. And it's available in 12.3. And others are saying that there are now more available transactions that you can see immediately in the wallet application. Previously, it would just show several. Now you can see the entire list by scrolling. And vitals are looking good. Almost no difference from 12.2. So speed wise, not a concern, but there it is. I was 12.3, really nothing major yet. It's just optimizations to the TV app and the wallet application, which Apple will be offering services in relatively soon. Stay tuned for any updates on this one. Okay, so this seems awfully familiar. Two years ago, I did the same test with the original and now we're doing it to the sequel. So Apple didn't advertise anything different with the water resistance, but knowing the originals and how good they actually were at the water resistance, I'm genuinely curious if there is a difference. So I'm just doing my laundry. I'm gonna slip it in there anyways and here we I got some laundry subjects obviously fake guys but uh, anyways we're gonna throw in our wireless airpods in here throw these out case can't happen without any detergent so let's get that in there let's get it going on a speed wash and really I think this is the most real-life test you can do with airpods because the only water they're ever gonna see is when you accidentally leave them in your pants and decide to wash them. I've actually had mine run through this like several times and no issues. Those exact AirPods from years ago that uh, we waterlogged and actually had in water still work today. And that's the most impressive part. This will really test them. They're bouncing around in there. That's so funny. This will put it to the test, absolutely. And these were a brand new pair, just got them out of the box. We're gonna be doing a teardown on these, so I, I really don't care about one pair that much. So if you had any doubts about them being exposed to water, fear not, for they are submerged most of the time. They're bouncing around, lots of action. This is actually one of the best water tests you can do. And uh, yeah, totally submerged and exposed. All right, so we're just about ending our cycle. We got one minute left. I'm a little afraid to see the mess inside of there. If this still does work, I would be, I'd be very surprised. They are pretty sealed, they are very sealed. It's the case that failed last time. What have we here? They're somewhere here, okay. Here's the case and one pod, still covered in detergent. Okay, so they look pretty whole to me. Oh, so it is connected to the AirPods, throwing them into my ears. Oh, okay, the sound is corrupted. It sounds like I'm listening to them from a mile away. AirPods 2 are not water resistant. I actually set up a whole nother test over here uh, just to, to see if they're waterproof, but we won't be needing this. So both actually, not just one. Now let's tear into them. I actually wanna see if, is there any physical differences to the earpieces, to the speakers, batteries. So I'm gonna do my best to tear into them and see how they compare to Gen 1. All right guys, so this is the inside of the AirPods. So the best thing I can do is just slice in from the side on a warm shell. And this one's scary because it's still working. The battery's fully charged, so I gotta be very careful. And here's a look inside AirPods 2. So the front case now has an LED, where before it didn't. Otherwise, pretty much exactly the same, just a modified existing case. Um, let's see that wireless charging pad. Ooh, very cool. So look at that, miniaturization, how cool. Otherwise the boards, they seem, oh yeah, look at that, the water did get in here without a doubt but the board layout is a little bit different, more compact, the chips themselves. I love this. See, I've been, I've been on a streak opening up phones, so taking a look at these even is so interesting. The hinge design is much smaller, so wow. This suggests that it would be less sturdy because of it's not as large. 
but it is a more efficient design, you can say. Less, takes up less room. Wow, yeah, the, the hinge is completely different. In the best way from what I'm seeing, I can say it's just smaller, and smaller doesn't always mean better. Okay, so that's the cases. Let's actually cut into these guys too. All right, these are extremely difficult. I'll try my best, but you gotta heat them and cut into them basically to get inside. So this part just basically comes off. It's the only somewhat removable part of the AirPods and that's what it looks like inside. So let's open up the second and compare. And behind here are all the microprocessors. So, ooh, wow, water did get in. And there's the chip layout. So a very similar chip layout. I assume, I believe this is a W1 and this is H1. Otherwise it looks almost identical inside. Same circuit board, same chips. The speaker itself, this will be the deciding one. If I could pull this out and actually take a look at it. Yeah, the inner housing is the same. The speakers to me are different. Look at that, just a different material. This one's, I don't know, this brushed kind of aluminum look. This one has a different look to the material used. Otherwise, pretty much looking the same. So just from speaker, looking at the speakers alone, I cannot tell you if that means any better quality or not. Listening to them definitely said no. So there it is guys, kind of interesting to, to look inside of it. We got the wireless charging uh, pad inside, the LED. The structure does change, you get the new H1 chip, but fundamentally, they're the exact same. There's almost no difference inside, uh, aside from the hinge too. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed it. Last thing is the giveaway, let's go check that out. All right guys, and these are the Instagram winners. So we got Joshua Leo, Raul Baez, and Bonnie Phillips. So I'll be contacting you via Instagram. And the YouTube winners, let's go ahead and see. So we got Zaid Kasim, congrats on seven million. And you have won one pair and True septic eye, bro, nice. <laughs> All right guys, you have won AirPods. Otherwise I'll have more giveaways coming soon. Peace.